Welcome to a brand new video. Uh, in the previous video we set up a local development database um, with the help of a Postgres Docker image. And yeah. And now since our application is almost done, we well, I'm still missing an important part, uh, mainly the unit tests. As you know, you should never deploy code not before writing some automatic tests, unit tests, in our case now. And now, without further ado, let's start. Okay, first we want to test, of course, our, our data layer, which will be our, for our repository. So for that, just, um, just click here, click new package, Say repository. Okay. And uh, yeah, you can decide. Um, since the repository is a little bit uh, difficult, not difficult, but you need to mark some things to test it properly. Um, I would say uh, just follow along what I'm doing. So let's say class task. Re repository uh, embedded let's say embedded test so and before we can start to properly test our file um, we need some as I said as I mentioned before we need some uh, mock data for that just click here and new and just wait. Was it here? New uh, package? No, not here. Sorry. New directory. Ah, here it is. Resources. Just click on resources. And now we have our resources file. That's so far so good. We will need to um, add some data here. Let's say file test minus data dot SQL. We'll just prepare some SQL um, instructions, um, and so we can test things properly. So I've prepared some things here. By the way, also for the testing part, I have a written tutorial on medium.com. As you can see, we have. I will just add mm, a little bit of dummy data. As you can see, three entries from 111 to 113 with some test stuff. And yeah, you can add more if you would like, but these three are enough for now. So, okay. Okay, okay. Now open our class again. Uh, we need to say tell the framework. This is a JPA test. Uh, so as you can, I, I guess you already know we need an uh, annotation for this data JPA test. And we have to define some things here. Properties, which is again an array. So square brackets. Um, this is spring.jpa.properties, but just wait a second before I make a typo here. Just I will just copy it from a tutorial, then I will explain it, uh, then I can explain it a little better. So, that, 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 repository, and there it is. So, this just copy the line. Remove this line, comment, delete, add this line. Uh, so it, it should not validate the stuff right now. This is what is this doing right now? Um, this line here. Um, it shouldn't add any validation because it's just for testing purposes and we don't need it. And because we have added this annotation here, we are now able to um, say following cream. You can now um, have with. Again, with dependency injection, 
uh, we can add here an uh, actual instance of our repository with auto-wired. Auto-wired. Nice. Private, late, init. Um, I usually, when I uh, when I test, when I use an instance for testing, an object instance, then I also call it that way. I say object, I, I like it to rename it like that way, object under test. And this is of type task repository. Okay, nice, nice. Um, and then I will, I just would add some variables because we will need them uh, a few times in our test, private val number uh, of records in test uh, number of records in test data equals to test. Let's call it SQL three because we have here already when we do some find all and stuff we can, we have here three um, entries so that's why this year number of records in text okay that's good number of open records and number of closed records in test data is equal we have uh, this is this is for the as you can see Ah, nice. You see the highlighting here? We have two closed tasks and we have one open task here. Okay, nice. So number of open records in test is just one and here is just two. Nice. And now we can start to write the first test. So as you know, every unit test starts with the add test annotation. Uh, and from our, as you remember from our dependencies, we are using Jupyter. Just to remind you here, uh, we have here Jupyter. Okay, basically, I think it's from the framework. Okay, it's not extra here, but I think in here in the Spring Boot starter test, in this dependency it should be inside it, but yeah. This is from the Jupyter library, okay. Uh, yeah, and now we have to tell that we are using a file for this. Uh, that's why we need to add SQL annotation. Uh, SQL, so, import. Okay, it has imported. And we just say class path where to find our SQL file for testing and this is and this part you can just copy nice okay so that our test knows it should look up here in this dot SQL file for for the entries and um, Now we need a name. I'm pretty bad at naming stuff, and I will just name it um, like that. When task is saved through, just task is saved, then then check for not. No. Okay. I mean, maybe you come up with a better, better name. Uh, normally, um, unit tests. I mean, pe people like this kind of style. Uh, give them. Then. Uh, so I will just uh, fetch a task with find task by ID. Now I will just say, um, yeah, uh, task. Of that task is object under test. 
This is find classifier ID. Look, and you can look up here. We have 111. Say 111. Uh, type enter. And then we come to our den. And we need to import the task. Okay, should be imported right now. And yeah, now we can assert. Assert. I like to use this library, assert that. And is not now. Uh, just give it a second, just give it a second, import. Uh, so many options right now. Just let me look it up. Uh, assertions. Should be that one, I think. Uh, did it import it? No. Uh, maybe Okay, now that's imported it, just needs I think a few seconds. My Mac is currently running a little bit hot from the, all the recordings. Uh, now just say task. Okay, just run all tasks. So basically I'm fetching just this ID which we have in our SQL file here. And it should be not now because we have some, as you can see, um, given here some values. Uh, okay, and let's hope. Just, it's, it's, I hope this doesn't take too long now to start the test. 